extension tour. Um, I get loads of questions about the addition to the mobile home um, and I've done a video, I will link it in the iCards, about um, tips for living in a mobile home and one of them was to have an extra space for like your utility, um, your washing machine, dryer and all that. So I thought I would go through what we did with our extension. Eddie built it, he is a carpenter. Um, so I get loads of questions about how much it costs us to build the extension to the mobile home. And it's kind of hard to put a price on because Eddie did all the work himself. So if you can't do the work yourself, you would obviously have to pay a tradesman, um, which would be expensive. Um, and also, we sourced like the windows and the doors um, on done deals. So they were second hand, we got them really cheap. Um, so Eddie being a carpenter, he can like do that. He can get stuff and then build around it, work around it, you know? So I don't really have an answer to how much it cost us. Um, he could probably put a figure on the materials, but then there's the labor. And then we got like a plumber in, um, and things like electrician and things like that. So <clears throat> I I don't have an answer to how much it cost. Um, yeah, it's it's like you could probably you probably couldn't do it for much cheaper than we did it, but um, you could probably spend a lot more on it than we did. So it's one of those things like how long is a piece of string? But it works great for us. So moving into the mobile home, we knew that it wasn't going to be sustainable um, with the little fridge. <laughs> um, it just came with a half fridge in the kitchen. There was no room for a full fridge. So we knew that it wasn't going to be, be sustainable um, without a bigger fridge, um, which we had our big double fridge in fridge freezer in storage. Um, and we needed our own washing machine and dryer, um, which there was no room in the mobile home to store that. So if Eddie wasn't a carpenter and I was having to problem solve this myself, I would probably just have a little garden shed and have that plumbed and use that as like a laundry room. But thankfully, Eddie <laughs> is a carpenter and he was able to just build an L-shape extension to the mobile home. So I will put in some footage of what that looks like from the outside. Um, so like I said, he got the windows and the door from done deal and then he built around that um so he made this structure out of um it's just a timber uh what would you call it timber framed um and he then cladded it with corrugated steel um and it's that color like the colored one <laughs> that's already painted um so it looks better um and I actually really like how it how it turned out. He did all these like slanted roofs on it and stuff, so it kind of looks uh, pretty cool. When you walk up to it, you wouldn't even know there's a mobile home behind it. Um, so the main things we needed was it to house our big fridge. As a family of five, <laughs> we uh, needed more food storage. Um, and that allowed us to take the half fridge out of the kitchen and put in our dishwasher, which is also handy when you've got lots of little kids and constantly feeding, constantly doing dishes. So we did put also um, a desk area in and the plan was to have our computer set up there um, with a stool and use that, you know, for me to work really during nap times and things like that. And it never worked out. The Wi-Fi didn't reach to the to the where the computer was. Uh, we never got a stool that worked <laughs> for that area, and it just ended up being like a catch-all space where things were always set down, and it was never never worked as a functional workspace. So that was the one thing that we put in there that didn't work. Um, we also needed space for the washing machine and dryer so eddie actually got the counter space his mom was uh replacing her kitchen so he recycled the counter space from and the sink i believe from her old kitchen that did on top of the um washer and dryer um and i wanted a sink there as well so that for doing laundry um just for soaking things and also for 
uh, washing wellies and things like that so as the kids came in so it kind of acts as a bit of mud room as well um, and then I got uh, I just used a little storage block that we had from Ikea um, to store our towels and linen bed linen things like that um, because there's no like hot press there's no there's not a lot of storage inside the mobile home it just about fits our clothes um, and so I put some plastic drawers under the counter space as well to house nappies wipes things like that and I got Eddie to put up a rail opposite the washer and dryer so that when I was taking laundry out I can put things straight on a hanger that need to go on a hanger and hang them up when they come straight out of the dryer also on above the counter space that we have out there he put up a bit he just I think he just got some planks and made a big shelf so I have lots of little boxes up there now I do need to go through them and do a lot of decluttering at the minute but like I have a box of cleaning supplies a box of the dog's stuff a box of um rain gear for the kids a box with all our swimming gear uh, there's a box with hats and <laughs> just things like that if those things where the we don't have space to store them in the in the main mobile home um they go out there so yeah it's just really a lot of storage space for us um because it is a two bedroom mobile home and we're a family of five so we're squeezed in there <laughs> um and it's it's great that he built it because we wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been sustainable for us all to be in there for this long um we are currently trying to buy a site that we can build our home on so it's going to be another year at least <laughs> in the mobile home um so yeah <laughs> it's it the extension has made it a lot more sustainable um and able just sort of let us function better in there um so i also store like our rubbish bin out there and um like our mop our hoover um just pan and brush all all things like that where there's no room to put them inside the mobile home we store out there and it works really well for us um and it's really bright and airy because the big sliding door that eddie got just lets in so much light it's huge um and yeah it's works really well for us now obviously <laughs> it's not um not everyone would be able to build that or have that um so we're very lucky um but it is definitely if you are planning to live in a mobile home for a year or more and you've got little kids it's definitely worth doing some sort of extension if you are able to um so i thought i would share ours because i get messages all the time about it and i've just never gotten around <laughs> to being able to film this so Hopefully this is helpful and um, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Uh, have you or are you planning on living in a mobile home? Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.